with just two events to go in a very close individual Quadrilla Marble League, we head to Zone Collision, an event that we saw in the Team Quadrilla Marble League in the B Division, but it has been brought and translated into an individual league event. The setup the same as before, but there are differences in this individual event. Now first we're going to show the scoring. Marbles coming from the left, the, if they rest on the board, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the positions as shown. If they fall off, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, there is some differences that are with the formats with how the marbles come down, but we're going to go through that a bit later. First, let's take a look at the championship standings very close after the elimination race. Java and Rainforest still the top two, Seabed with their silver up to third, and it's Blue Tail, Tarzan, and Ecto. But now on the first heat, it's actually going to be four marbles in a heat at once. So what's going to happen is two of them are going to come from the left, two of them are going to come from the right, and then they're going to have three rounds, and the total sum of their scores. So now we see in the first round, it seems like with Java and Venom starting from the left, Muddy and Void from the right. So now they're going to go again. And this time, marbles are going to be paired with a different marble coming with them from the same side. Now look at this, Java staying on the board and going all the way to the opposite end. That means that they are going to get five points in the second round. Now the other marbles, they did not stay on the board, so those marbles are not going to be scoring as much. Now Java, the championship leader, if they move on here, they could set themselves up well. Will anyone else stay on the board? Though Venom will, and Venom will get a nice points haul from this one. So v Venom and Java, the only two marbles that managed to stay on the board, and as a result, those two marbles are moving on from Heat 1. Look at this, Java getting five points from round two. That was pivotal in letting them get the win. Void not moving on and Muddy. Well, it's not much of a surprise. This late in the season, we've seen they struggle for the entirety of the season. But now, Rainforest, Denim, Mystic Orb, and Blizzard in the first round of three. And none of them managed to stay on the board in the first round. So we're going to go again. They are still able to score points if you fall off, but it's not nearly as much as if you stay on. So those marbles here, especially Rainforest, with Java moving on, they're gonna wanna move, they're gonna want to do well here, and Rainforest does! Rainforest does exactly what Java did and goes straight to the opposite side, getting five points. That is pivotal for them, and Denim also did the same. Coming from the right, Denim, coming from the left, Rainforest, and those two. And they pair together, coming from the same side in the third round. But Mystic Orb does it now, going to the other end, avoiding all trouble, letting Blizzard take the hit. And that means Mystic Orb setting themselves up well. And as a result, Rainforest is knocked out. Rainforest, they did not manage to score in round one or round three. And that means they are going out in Heat 2. And also, by the way, that is a, not a good differential. It's about the differential that determines the marble scores that don't advance. So as much as you want to stay on and get good scores yourself, you're going to want to hit the mother's other marbles off. And now Gloom and Shamrock, look at this. Those two marbles doing well to stay on. Seabed and Ecto did not. Will they be able to do it again now? Shamrock and Gloom setting themselves up well. Oh, a lot of collisions from all of them. All of them being involved, and as a result, none of them can stay on the board. Looks like uh, Seabed and Gloom are going to pick up at least one point from that. But it's not nearly that much, especially for a marble like Seabed that needs to get a move on. Third in the championship, with, the, uh, with Java moving on, the championship leader, Shamrock stays on. And that's good for them, Shamrock. They've stayed on the course, on the beam twice um, in the three rounds. And as a result, Shamrock gets the win. And Bloom, with five points and differential of only negative six, they are also moving on. Seabed only managed one point. Wasn't a terrible differential, but that is not good for them. Going last in their heat. Now, Blue Tail, Tarzan, Candy Corn, and Sandstorm. In the final heat, can Blue Tail or Tarzan, fourth and fifth in the championship, also advance because right now among the top three only java has now sandstorm they will get a good starting point all here it's just two points but that's still pretty good 
for them. Now, they were the only one that managed to stay on the course. Now, Candy Corn, Sunstorm, Candy Corn starting from the right as well as Tarzan, but they cannot make it stick, and none of them stay on the course. Candy Corn will get a point out of that, and Blue Tail on the cusp. But now, in the final round, Sandstorm looking good to advance because they're the only marble that has stayed on. Can anyone else do it though? No, they cannot. So Sandstorm, I think they're going to move on here, but who will get second? Blue Tail, not good scores in any of their outings. That is not good for them. Just one point for Blue Tail and they get fourth, but Tarzan and Candy Corn, they are in an exact tie. They've gotten one point in two of the rounds and zero in the third. So that means Tarzan and Candy Corn going to a deathmatch tiebreaker here. Just one round to see who can best each other between these two. If they tie, of course, we'll have to go to another one. But Candy Corn will get one point and Tarzan does not. So Candy Corn is moving on. Tarzan, championship contender between the two of them. Candy Corn, not in the hunt for the championship but Tarzan is and so they are knocked out and so Java is the only marble in the top six that is moving on that is huge now Java they have an opportunity to stretch their lead going to the final event Mist Corb gets a perfect run here getting five and no one else stayed on the board in the first semi-final and Candy Corn though coming from the left they will also get three points from that now shamrock and candy corn starting in the first two positions and it's miss corb and java java will they be able to do well here oh look at this java stays on and mystic orb mystic orb looked like they were staying on i think java might have nudged them off and as a result java they're on the border of four and five but that sets java up very well now mystic orb and java the only two models to stay on the course Will that be the case here? Look, Candy Corn gets it. Candy Corn will get five points from the Shamrock like they were, but they did not. So Shamrock gets last, but Java is not dethroned. Java is moving to the final, and that is huge for the championship. Candy Corn also does, but if Java, if they win the event, they will clinch the championship. Now, in the second semi-final, what a dramatic event here in Zone Collision. Venom, Denim, Gloom, and Sandstorm, and none of them will be able to score here. I think it's just Venom that will get one point, and I think the rest are getting zero. Now, Gloom, starting from the front, they will be paired with Denim, and Venom and Sandstorm paired coming from the left. Now, Venom gets avoiding... Uh, Venom gets to the other side, avoiding the trouble. So Venom, looks like they're in a good position here. The only marble to stay on the course thus far. Can anyone make a late surge? Now Denim paired with Venom. Sandstorm paired with Gloom. And Gloom will do it. Gloom makes it to the end. Is that enough to get them advancement? We'll have to see. It is in semi-final B. Venom and Gloom moving on. Denim also had the same score and same points differential but because they didn't have a five all the other two marbles did denim is knocked out sandstorm in sixth mr corb in seventh and the host shamrock in shammer stadium eighth but now for the final all eyes on java here if they win they will win the championship other marbles in the championship hunt hoping that the other three marbles here can dethrone them but look at this all three marbles besides Java have stayed on the course. Java, the only one that hasn't. After round one, now still two more rounds to go. So Java can make a comeback. But this is looking good for those other championship contenders. Candy Corn, Venom, and Gloom. Will any of them be able to stay on? Oh, Venom looked like they did. But then Java shoved them off. So it looks like Java getting three points from this one. I think... Candy Corn will get two, Gloom on the cusp of one and two. But now, in the final round, Java needs to get a move on. They want to clinch the championship. Will they be able to? No, they will fall off, and Gloom and Venom are on the beam. Who will win the event? It's very close between those two. Java is not going to win the event. It is Gloom that wins the event. Same points as Venom, but because they got five from round one, Gloom wins zone collision 
This is the Marvel, by the way, that won last season, but hasn't gotten a single medal, and is the only Marvel besides Muddy to do so. But Gloom, finally, back on top. They may not be returning to the individual Cordula Marble League next season. They will be happy to be back. Venom in second, and Candycorn getting the fourth bronze of the season. And pivotally, Java misses the podium. Now, what does that mean for the championship? We'll have to see. As we take a look, Java, well out in front, but still hasn't clinched a podium spot. Rainforest, Seabed, Blue Tail, Tarzan haven't switched positions, but those four as well are still in the hunt for the championship. Ecto, Venom, Denon, Void, and Mystic Horror can make the podium because they can still get third place. Candycorn, everyone from Candycorn down, cannot make the final podium. Now, in fact, Blizzard stuck in 15th, Muddy stuck in dead last. But now, Java, they have the driver's seat to win it all, but can they make a stick? We'll have to see. Four marbles can dethrone them. Who will it be to win it all in the individual Cordilla Marble League? Well, we're about to find out in the marathon. Stay tuned.